So I recorded a video yesterday talking about, you know, it's lonely at the top. When you level up, you're going to leave people behind. And the inverse is also true. If you don't level up, if you don't evolve, if you don't grow as a person, the people them around you that are leveling up to whatever degree, they're going to drop you out and they're going to leave you behind, unfortunately. So I recorded a video yesterday and put like a two minute segment on my Instagram page. So literally, when you level up, you're going to leave people behind. And when you don't level up, the people that are around you are going to leave you behind. Now, I know someone, they've been left behind by a few of their people. It's a female. And, get them watching this right now. If you decide to be a stay-at-home mum for 10, 15 years, please believe the chicks that are around you, especially if you started off young, let's say a young 20 or whatever, that's when you had your first youth and all the other friends and that, a similar age and that if you decide to be a stay-at-home mom for 10 15 years and they decide to even if they have kids go back into work and start leveling up and getting promotions and that please believe they're gonna leave you behind you know because their brain their mind they're evolving you're staying stagnant i was gonna say they've become ambitious and uh, ambitious and that because you know nowadays the bar is so low that even if you just get a job yeah, you're seen to be uh, an ambitious person and that. But literally, if you're a girl watching this right now and you decide to be a stay-at-home mom for 10, 15 years and that, just know the girl and that are around you who are, quote-unquote, levelling up, going for jobs and getting promotions and that, becoming managers and that, they're going to leave you behind. Because people want to be around people who are like-minded. People want to be around people who, if they're levelling up, they want people to also be around them that are levelling up. And if they see that you're not levelling up, they're just going to distance, distance themselves from you. I know someone that that happened to. They lost about three or four friends in the past and that. All of their friends and that. I'm not saying that they're at some high level. I'm not even saying they, they got... I mean, they might have a property portfolio. I doubt they got a business and that. But they're levelling up to some degree. Even if it's a little bit. And the person I know can't understand why. I know why. You have not levelled up. Even if it is just going into the workplace and getting a job and getting a career and being focused and that. I mean, you know, you should... <laughs> that should be by default, innit? But literally, if you're not levelling up and that, there are people them around you, they're going to want to leave you behind. As human beings, it's natural for us to, to evolve. You need to constantly be evolving, constantly learning new stuff, constantly getting better. You should not be staying stagnant. If you stay stagnant, by default, you're regressing because time is always moving forward. So then I received a comment underneath that video. So the person's left the comment. I don't know if they're a little bit pissed off, but big them up anyway. You know, when people leave comments and feedback underneath my videos, whether it's Instagram or YouTube, that inspires me to make follow-up videos. So you lot carry on, continue leaving comments and feedback underneath my videos and that inspires me to make follow-up videos. Now, I'm assuming the person who left the comment was a girl. Obviously, there's no profile picture, nothing like that. I'm trying to remember what the comment said word for word off the top of my head. Something about if a woman wants to become a stay-at-home mom for 10 to 15 years and her friends decide to drop her out because she's not quote-unquote levelling up, and then they weren't her friends to begin with, innit? I hear what the person's saying, but blood, this is the natural progression of things in life, yeah, in terms of friendships and relationships and that. If you're not on the same energy as people, if people are levelling up, blood, they're going to want to drop you out. Similarly, if you're levelling up, the people that are around you, if they're not on the same shit that you're on, you're going to want to drop them out, blood. Imagine me, or imagine, forget about me, imagine Alan Sugar, yeah, levelling up, becoming a multi-millionaire businessman. You think he's still hanging around with the people them that he grew up with in Hackney? Yeah? Do you think he's still rolling with the same youths that he's rolling, rolling with when he was 15, 20 years old and that if they're not on the same energy as him? You think I want to be associating with the man them from the ends who are still on nonsense? This man right now, yeah? 28, 30 years old, still on nonsense, blood. What the fuck am I going to talk to them about? Imagine, yeah? Imagine me. So, I'm on a path of positivity, yeah? I'm levelling up. I'm trying to make something of myself, yeah? I'm doing well for myself. Why the fuck am I going to want to hang around with a cousin who's just in and out, in and out, in and out of jail, blood? 
We're not on the same path. Man have to drop him out. Similarly, if I was on bullshit, yeah, if I didn't want to make no progression in my life, I would expect if I did have a family member that's on shit, yeah, on the path of positivity and that, wanting to make something of you, so I would expect him to drop me out, blood. There was one thing, yeah, that man was checking a long time ago. Imagine, yeah. You know how Asian people, obviously, Asian people do things differently than black people, yeah, and white people, obviously, innit? This girl was from Bangladesh, yeah? She was like 31, 32 years old, no kids. You know, most girls that are like 30, 31, 32 of Asian origin, they'll be married off and have a, a youth. Whether it's the youth's two, three years old, whatever, innit? But by them ages, they're 30 years old, they would have a kid, no? So, I just remember, like, right, this girl's like 31, 32 years old, no you, not married or nothing like that. And I was just thinking to myself, the lifestyle that she's living right now, or at the time, she wouldn't be doing that if she was a mum. So you have to check it. 31, 32 years old, she was sending me videos on a Wednesday night, Thursday night, at some bar, playing pool. Her friend's filming her on Snapchat. Obviously, I don't use Snapchat, but she sent me the video. Ah, oh, I'm just having fun living my life and that. What? How many times have you gone out on a Wednesday night to play pool, my brother? Or my sister watching this right now. When was the last time? Who, who, the, fuck, who the fuck does that? Who goes out on a Wednesday or a Thursday night and plays pool? I'm thinking, nah, what are you doing out on a Wednesday, Thursday night shooting pool? You're on the wrong path. You ain't involved. You're on some young shit. Your brethren's... Or your cousins and that, your counterparts and that, that are 31, 32 years old, they're at home with their kids. They got work the next day. What are you doing? Talking about friends and that. The girl's 31, 32, whatever at the time, hanging around with 24-year-olds. So you know someone's not on a rap, but why are you even associating with people that are 24 years old, blood? That means that your mind has not grown. Imagine me. Imagine, J <laughs> I'm 30 years old, yeah? Imagine me dealing with a girl that's fucking 19 or 20 years old, blood. Like, what we got to talk about, really? I mean, is there some 19, 20-year-old girl that could match, man? Yeah, probably. Would I ever bump into them? Hell no. Man, not even in those... Blood, do you think any 19, 20-year-olds will be in the same space as me to meet me, blood? Oh, man, the girl's on the wrong path, blood. You're doing out of them times there. And I literally, I imagine my girl... Um, she got a couple like, so my girl's got a friend who's younger than her and, that, and she one of them girls go out every weekend, every weekend, out every weekend, every event she's there. Yeah. One of them type of girl, innit? But she, she's younger, innit? So that's cool, innit? Imagine my girl's brethren gets pregnant and that, and all of her friends are not pregnant. She can't live that lifestyle no more. You think she, how many baby moms you know are out every weekend and that? Blood, go look after your ass, Clark, you. Whether the dad's there or not, yeah? Go look after your youth, blood. Yeah, you got you can't be out every weekend drinking and that. So your life is going to change once you have a child and that. And unfortunately, once you have a child, if your brethren's around you, don't have a child, they're not living the same lifestyle as you, there's going to be a gap now. You lot are going to part ways, unfortunately. Yeah, they'll still be your friends and that, but blood. You could have a girl. She's a stay-at-home mom. Yeah, she's doing that for 10, 15 years, whatever, whatever. Her brethren who are um, levelling up and that, going for job promotions, you get me going up the ranks now, they become a project manager, they're on some big money and that. Blood, you have been a stay-at-home mum for 10 to 15 years. This individual, your friend, is a project manager and that. When you get together, what the fuck have you got to talk about, blood? Imagine a girl's a project manager and she's buying up properties and looking to start a local business on the side with, with XYZ person and that. What the fuck have you lot got to talk about? All you're going to do is end up gossiping about, uh, about other people. This is what happens. You're not on the same path as people. When you feel like you're linking up with people and you can't have a conversation that's going anywhere, you're going to end up parting ways. Trust me, I know, man. I know, man. They'll hit man up. Whatever in it, yeah, I know. As soon as they hit man up, I know it's gonna be about gal or whatever in it, yeah. One day we're gonna part ways, blood, because you're not leveling up. 
When you phone me, talk to me about this business you're trying to set up. Talk to me about properties, blood. When I sit with me, blood, I still ain't got no fucking living room, you know. Look, look. Still ain't got no living room, fam. Man still ain't got no Ross Clark living room. Me and my girl sit right here at this table, yeah? I can talk to her about property all day long because obviously she's a mortgage broker and that I'm in the field of buying property and that we could talk about so much different stuff and that imagine yeah like we're completely different and that and there was nothing for us to talk about the relationship would be shit me and my girl do not need a TV you know we literally do not need the TV we will sit down here for two to three hours just talking no laptop on no there's no TV down there we can just talk a lot of couples can't do that a lot of couples cannot do that. So yeah, man, when when you when you go down a different when you just naturally go down a different avenue from other people, whether you're rising up or falling down, I don't it don't matter in it. Yeah, people around you are gonna leave your life. Yeah, they're gonna exit your life. Whether you're doing good, whether you're doing bad, when you go down a different path, it could just be because you've had a child now and you're a mum. You can't go out every weekend. Like I said, but imagine yeah, you're a girl watching this right now and you become a mother. You're not going and use the type to go out every single weekend. You can't do that no more. You've got responsibilities. Yeah? You, you start to evolve into a different type of person. As opposed to the, the, the person, your friends who are go, going out every weekend and that. So, yeah, man, that, that, that's it. Obviously, certain people, they feel like, oh, you know, well, if my friends drop me out, they don't want to talk to me because, you know... I'm a stay-at-home mum for 10 to 15 years, then fuck them. But it's just a natural progression of things. You're not on the same energy as other people. They're going to go... The reason why you was friends with them in the first place is because you was on the same energy as them. Even if it was because you became friends at work or at the gym or whatever in it, university, it doesn't matter. That's the reason why you're friends with them, because you're on the same energy as them. Think about it. Look at all your friends. Man, they're watching this right now. Gallen watch this right now. Look at all your friends. Are they on the same energy as you? Whatever it is, whether it's crime, whether it's because you're in jail, whether it's because you're starting a business or you're... Pro well, it doesn't matter, innit? The reason why you got associates and friends around you is more than likely they're on the same energy as you, blood. And man them that are not on the same energy as me, I just won't spend no time with them. I won't be chatting to them. Because what value can you bring to my life if you're not on the same energy as me, blood? I don't want to talk about no gal, Yeah? Anyway, man, that's it for today, man. Stay wise. Don't know.